Welcome to Classic Game Room. What's not to like about a game where you shoot space debris falling on your head with a laser cannon? This is Astro Smash for the Intellivision. A game that has a fun storyline. Let's read this together. The sky is falling. Chicken Little was right. You're the laser battery commander, and here they come! An attack of multicolored meteors with an occasional spinning bomb that will blow up one of your guns if you let it land. And to really make it interesting, there's also some guided missiles and an attack UFO. As your score goes higher, so does the excitement in Astro Smash. The big question here is, of course, when is Chicken Little wrong? Never. The last time I saw him, he was like, dude, the happy hour special at Applebee's is awesome. And you know what? He was right. Always pay attention to what Chicken Little is telling you. The sky is falling, duck and go to Applebee's. Now I am, of course, playing this on my Intellivision 2 game console. Here's a look at the box artwork, which looks really cool. There's a great late 70s, early 80s design going on here. And note that this game was originally purchased at Zare. It's been a while since I've seen one of those. Astro Smash plays well with the Intellivision and Intellivision 2 controller. Even though it's a horrible controller, all that you do in this game is move back and forth using the directional disc, and you can set it to auto-fire so you don't have to fiddle with the annoying fire buttons. Here's a look at the controller overlay, which looks pretty cool, but it's more of a cosmetic thing. It's far from necessary. You're not doing a whole lot in this game except shooting what's falling on your head. And what makes Astro Smash interesting, albeit a little bit boring after a while, is that you lose points if you let meteors get past your laser fire. So frequently you'll find that your score is going backwards. Those other things making the annoying noises will destroy you if they touch the ground. There's also guided missiles and UFOs to watch out for. But basically you're just shooting whatever is falling from the sky. The prophecy of Chicken Little was correct. What he failed to see is the power of your laser cannon. After you score so many points, the game will get slightly harder, increase the multiplier, and change colors. Astro Smash is also available on the Atari 2600, although I was never really a huge fan of the game. It makes for a better Intellivision game, and it's a fun trip down memory lane if you played this one back in the day. Although after a while, I just find that it gets a little bit old. Astro Smash has multiple difficulty settings, and eventually it will pick up speed to the point where it gets interesting. But no matter what, you're always doing exactly the same thing, and even with the surprise of a color change, it's always Astro Smash, which is one of the easiest to find and cheapest in television games. Chicken Little made another prophecy that there would never be an Intellivision 3. Only time will tell if he's right.